Welcome back to Take a Break. I'm Tim Stanovec in New York. It's time now for Quick Take by the Numbers. It's where we give you the numbers that tell the story. This afternoon's number is 5,800. The retail, wholesale, and department store union needs to win over a majority of the votes of the approximately 5,800 people working at Amazon's Bessemer, Alabama Fulfillment Center. The campaign in Bessemer runs through the end of the month, and it's drawn national attention. It's widely considered a once-in-a-generation opportunity to breach the defenses of the world's largest online retailer, which has managed to keep unions out of its U.S. operations for a quarter century. But even workers who support joining the union acknowledge that victory is by no means assured. Many of their colleagues see a big employer investing in their impoverished town and offering more than double the minimum wage with benefits for entry-level jobs. Here to discuss this more is Bloomberg News' retail reporter Jordan Holman in Atlanta. Hey, Jordan, thanks for joining us on this. Um, Why is the union such a tough sell in Bessemer? You spent some time there early last month. Yeah, that's correct. So there's a lot of, it's a complicated situation. So um, the people who are for the unions, the workers who are for the unions, they say that a union could help um, with the workplace conditions. Because mind you, Amazon workers have been going into the warehouse during COVID, um, some are concerned about their safety and not getting enough guidance in that light. But when you take a step back and think about the economic conditions happening in this small Alabama town, Amazon, with its starting wage of $15 an hour and the benefits like being able to go to the doctor without having to pay, that is very favorable compared to other job opportunities. What is Bessemer like? So it's about 16 miles from Birmingham, if you've ever been, but it's a pretty small town. There's only uh, 27,000 people who live there. And historically, it was a manufacturing town, which has this history of unions. Um, Pullman Standard was there. But those jobs went out uh, or started leaving about half a century ago. So in the past decade, the mayor there has really been trying to recruit these big name companies to bring jobs back. Um, And also something important to note about Bessemer, the town is predominantly black. So as the conversation around the union is happening, it's also being framed as a civil rights issue. I wonder about how the town has changed because of Amazon. It has, the the, the fulfillment center hasn't been there for that long, but as you write in your piece, uh, almost overnight it became the, the, the largest employer there. Yeah, when Amazon um, came to town, so this was March 2020, right at the start of the pandemic, it was the talk of town. Because like I said, it's it's a small town. And so when you put this huge facility, everyone knows that it's happening and it's there. And um, the local businesses around uh, the warehouse, for example, this Waffle House I went to, they said that they've been seeing um, increased business because all those workers are coming, you know, during their break shifts or maybe after work to buy food. And that's really helped them out, especially because you have to think every business has been impacted by the pandemic. So any lift is really welcome. Jordan, what is the, the main, I mean, you know, you spoke to a lot of the fulfillment center workers uh, in Bessemer. What, what is the, how, how do you characterize the, the way that they felt uh, about forming a union? It's just a complicated situation for them. Um, I think it's been really difficult for the union to get their perspective out because uh, Amazon has been hosting uh, classes or like mandatory classes to explain like what would happen if a union form. So workers are getting that side when it, when they're not so much getting the side of why a union could be helpful just because the normal organizing efforts like large rallies and whatnot are on hold because of COVID. Mm. And workers constantly went back to the fact that it's like, yes, it's a grilling job, but I get paid more. And um, a lot of the workers are younger. Maybe they don't have experience with unions uh, at past jobs or they're straight out of high school. And that's just a good, so the Amazon job is just a good opportunity. Um, and, and so that's why it's not definitely, you know, a, a raging passion to have a union right out the gate. Makes me think of uh, any, any organization trying to keep it with, compete with Amazon. The retail, wholesale, and department store union is finding out that it is tough. Uh, to compete against the, uh, the the largest online retailer in the world. Bloomberg's Jordan Holman in Atlanta. Jordan, thanks as always for your time. It's always great to have you on the show.